We're going to chat about one of the most popular free tools for teachers out there. It's called Edmodo. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically a very well organized Facebook just for you, just for your class, just for your classroom or school. Really, you could be a school administrator and set up a bunch of classrooms, digital classrooms, or you could be a teacher. It's really focused on teachers and students and connecting the two but inviting parents in for the ride as well. So in any case, Edmodo is free. You can sign up and it'll ask you if you're a teacher or a student or anything like that. But once you do, it'll give you a probably pretty familiar at this point news feed, which is a lot like Facebook, where after you friend or follow a few people, it'll start offering you some interesting links and what people are talking about and it'll let you post things too so you can type your notes and add in files links and even attach stuff from a library there's a ton of things you can do but let's remember this isn't facebook it's actually relatively private and you can do a little bit more and feel a little safer doing it so what you can do is uh, post an alert which is not uh, anything bad but it's an alert where you can basically say hey i'm going to make sure that I need to I need to get all my students to do their homework so you can post an alert saying don't forget homework is due tomorrow morning something like that and they'll once they all log in and check their Edmodo account they'll see that homework is due tomorrow morning and they'll see a little alert with a warning sign which is pretty cool but you can actually do uh, assignments you can assign people or your students various projects and you can do it all right from here you can do the title description a due date which is handy uh, and you can even attach files and links and even schedule the assignments so you could really do all your work for the entire school year and just schedule it all uh, to make sure it goes out on time uh, you can send it to particular students or other teachers which is handy but what I think is pretty cool is you can just type in the name of your group and it'll automatically populate so we have modern lessons on there and that's the name of our demo classroom but we'll just take that off. We don't need to do that right now. You can also throw in a quiz, which is really fun and pretty straightforward and easy to do. You can just add in a bunch of questions. It has it all here for you. Uh, and there's even some templates that you can follow. You can also do a poll, which is really handy. You can do this on Facebook, obviously, right now. But doing a poll is a lot cooler when you consider you're asking your students or your educational network or personal learning network all these questions so you know who is answering it already not just the generic crowd all right so that's just a look at your news feed nothing too revolutionary there but where edmodo really shines is in the groups which is also known as classrooms so i created a demo classroom here i haven't invited people to it because i'm purely doing it for demo purposes but that doesn't matter you can see that it makes it really simple and straightforward to do. You can invite people. Uh, if they already have an Edmodo account, they can punch in this right here, your little group code, or you can use this URL over on the right to join the group. Um, you could make sure it's uh, private if that's what you want by playing around with all these settings, the group notification settings and all that stuff. Um, but really, you can do a lot with this. You can do a lot more than you would think, actually. So you can create your own little activity feed, once again, using the stuff that I just talked about, you know, alerts, assignments, quizzes, and polls, all that good stuff. Uh, but where it really shines is document storage and storing quizzes, PDFs, images, you know, all that stuff. You can create folders. Uh, you can really do a ton of stuff. So all you do is click new folder, folder name, new folder there we go and as you can see you can start messing around with it so it's kind of like dropbox in a, in a sense there uh, members you can keep track of who is a student who is the teacher of this and you can always add in people so all you have to do is go to search members or you can set all members or click up here and you can add in parents to the group which is pretty fun uh, we're not going to do that right now but in general it's pretty easy to add people. You can just send them uh, this right here, the group URL. 
Uh, you can make a small group, which is cool. So kind of like project-based learning or team-based activities right now. You can create a new small group. So that's basically a subset of your classroom right now. So if you have five students that are working on XYZ science project, you can assign them to be a small group so they can sort of collaborate and work together without muddying up the main uh, feed right here, which will get populated as people join. So it's really fun. Uh, it's really simple to use and it's free. So I don't know what gets better than that. A couple other tools that you should know about with Edmodo are the planner, which is great for uh, keeping track of what you're working on and what your students are working on. You can create tasks and events, uh, and those can be whatever you want. They don't need to necessarily be specific events. They could be more ethereal, like, you know, finish homework by Thursday type events, that kind of thing. It's all however you want to use it. Uh, you can also keep track of progress by going to the group progress bar right here. And we haven't done anything yet, but I've found that to be very handy. Uh, and another cool thing is student badges, which is pretty fun. So you can make your own, which is pretty cool, or you can uh, check out some badges that Edmodo has already created. So you can award badges to people. So you could say, hey, you were a participant in this, so I'm going to give you this digital badge right now, and it'll show up on their profile, which is pretty fun and a great little way to you know show people that you're monitoring them and to sort of incentivize them to learn and do even better. And finally, the last feature that I think is ultra important is the library. So you can keep track of all the me digital media that is uploaded, and you can also sync it with Google Docs, which is now Google Drive, but you can also sort it by the media that was attached to posts. So if someone shared a PDF or a YouTube video or whatever, it'll show up here. Google Docs, we would need to connect for it to show up. But if you're a big fan of Google Docs, but want to keep using that, but still want to use Edmodo, this is a great way to do both at the same time. If you want to add in stuff to the library, all you do is click add to library, makes sense. Uh, you can do it via a link or file, pretty straightforward. So now we'll just go back to the home and uh, click on latest posts to load up our little feed. And it's as simple and straightforward as that. So be sure to tinker around with it. You can join other groups or classrooms. Uh, all you have to do is punch in the code, as I mentioned and create to your heart's content. Learning online has never been easier.